What's good, y'all? John D. Saunders here. In today's video, I'm talking about something that's been highly requested. Essentially, I'm gonna show you how to run a web design agency while working a full-time job. I'm speaking from experience. I did it myself. And now that I'm a full-time entrepreneur and web agency owner, I can show you the ways that I segued into doing that by following this process. So let's dive in and let's get it done. Lego. Crazy thing, right? 55% of freelancers still have full-time jobs. And so I want to show you how you can start to cultivate and develop your agency while working a full-time position. I never, ever recommend someone quitting their job cold turkey. People have responsibilities, mortgages, rents, children, and other things that they need to maintain while they have a job. Not to mention health insurance and jobs can be super beneficial, especially as you segue into entrepreneurship. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is the exact process I followed to achieve financial freedom while working a full-time job that allowed me to make enough passive and income outside of my main job so that I could quit my job seven years ago and run my agency. So again, a few statistics, 1.1 billion freelancers right now in the world and 55% of them uh, still have an other job. So you can, if I can do it, you can do it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this, y'all. So first things first, there's a book called uh, by Hal Elrod called The Miracle Morning. I recommend everybody reading. Now, you don't have to be the cliched entrepreneur that wakes up at 4 a.m., has a coffee, works out for three hours, and does all of these regimented things. This is the, the, the way that I follow because I'm not a morning person, so I essentially have to force myself uh, to get up early. But essentially, one, one rule, rule is to try and wake up before 8 a.m. If you have to be to work at 9, 9.30, try to wake up where you have enough time to do these specific tasks. So one, try to wake up before 8 a.m. Two, meditate. Meditation is great for getting in a frame of mind. There are a ton of free apps out there like Calm or Peloton. And you can just, this will really get you in the mindset of, of getting your day going with this process. Also, try and get some exercise in. I try to get an hour in each day. 30 minutes is the minimum. Try and get your blood pumping by doing some cardio, maybe some strength training. There are a few, quite a few really cool apps that you can find. There's tons of free websites out there. So try and get your, um, your, your process going in the morning as soon as you can. Then, of course, read. I like to read 10 pages per day. It's not a huge benchmark, but again, maybe it takes 10, 15 minutes to get that done. And so once you kind of do those things preliminary in the morning, you can do maybe 45 minutes or an hour of deep work or work on your own business. So if you need to be at work at 9 a.m., for example, you might have to wake up a bit earlier than 8 a.m. to get those other tasks done. But you want to set aside that time to work on your agency in three buckets. One, developing your systems. That's going to be crucial to you being able to get this job done and work on freelance projects while you're running a, or while you have a full-time job. So make sure that you're developing systems. And again, I have a video on creating standard operating procedures. Check out the upper right-hand corner to check out that training. I won't go into detail on it here, but you can check out that video to get acclimated. Next, you want to start building out your team. You can use Slack and Asana to communicate them throughout to communicate with them throughout the day while you're at your full-time job. And then lastly, skill development. You're going to have to develop your skills in detail so that you can charge a premium and start to push yourself out of that full-time job. And again, if you want to do both, you can. You can have a full-time job and um, run your own agency. It's just going to be a lot. And the ultimate goal is to segue into entrepreneurship on your terms. So to go into developing systems, again, Upper right hand corner, check out that link. That's another operating procedures video that you can check out. This is going to SOPs are essentially step by step instructions compiled by an organization to help workers carry out complex routine operations. So with SOPs, they aim to achieve efficiency, right? If you have a step by step direction on how to do something, you can mitigate issues and problems you might have. This is also going to reduce miscommunication and failure to comply with industry regulations or, you know, your IP or intellectual property. Again, check out my videos on SOPs for more on that. Uh, here's an example of a standard operating procedure I have in a Google Doc. It's literally you have at the top the last time it was updated. It'll also show the team member when the last time it was updated for reference. 
it has a link to video training and my video training just goes through that process in real time with the directions on the right hand side. Again, check out my other videos on that. I'll mention any of the required documents or things that would be needed to execute this task and then a step by step breakdown. And just a side note, a lot of you are like, well, you know, I can't afford to hire anyone just yet. Why am I going to do SOPs and start building my team? SOPs are going to help you internally as you scale and it'll help you create a step-by-step -step checklist for how you do your tasks. Now, as you build your team, you can do this on a project basis. So by fulfilling roles that take up most of your time, these individuals can work on projects while you're at work, sending updates to you through Asana or Slack. I have another video on this. You can check that in the upper right-hand corner as well. Now, when you're thinking about building out your team, you want to think about the key essential job roles. So uh, do you need someone helping you from day to day, project delegation, email correspondence? You could probably hire a project manager or virtual assistant. Websites uh, like Upwork have amazing uh, VAs that are available in both the US and abroad based on your budget. Also, if you need content graphics design, you probably want to hire a graphic designer. Again, these can be on a project basis. So as you get this work, you can hire based on the work and the fulfillment that's needed. So if you bring on someone to do a UI, UX, a wireframe, um, you can pay them specifically for that project out of that um, out of the total. And that way they're getting paid on a project basis. Now, as you grow and scale your agency, you can probably bring them on payroll, make them part time, full time, all that good stuff. Also, if you need website design, custom integrations, you're probably going to want to hire a website developer. Now, the last piece of this is skill development. Now that now that you started to build out your systems, you're hiring your team, you want to continue to improve your process so that you could charge more so you can make a premium product that clients love. You need to develop your skills. The only way to charge premium prices is by learning and applying knowledge from the best in the business. So I have three resources that I've learned from myself. One, the future. This website is amazing. It's run by Chris Doe and it has business and education for design. So you have branding, business, business, creative skills, and courses on more. And these are from award-winning designers um, and, and branding folks that have done just a phenomenal job. We've taken a lot of their courses. These courses are available to my team members that we pay for through the agency. And you have to be able to learn and apply these things to build and scale your agency. Another course is the Ultimate Freelance course by uh, Mike Janda. And again, these are courses that I've taken. There's no solicitation here. This is literally what I've used to help scale my business to seven figures. And so this is a six suite course bundle covering everything from finding clients to managing your creative business. Then we have the Web Design Studio Accelerator, which is my course. This is the course I leverage to help agency owners develop their skills and create systems at their agency. So let's kind of go through this timeline because I want to break it all down. So to re recap everything, those are specific things that you need to really scale your efforts while you're working a full time job. So here's the kind of daily timeline that I follow to segue into full time entrepreneurship. One, you know, get up at 6 a.m. Once I'm up, whoops. Once I'm up, I'll meditate, exercise and read from about six to six forty five, give or take, you know, about 15 minutes. Then I'll work on my business. So that's when I'll work on my business between that time from 7 to 8.15. Once I do that, I'll shower and I'll get ready and go to work. Now I'm working from 9 to 5. Now some cases I worked in an agency, so I would work 9 to 6, 9 to 7, 9 to 8. It really fluctuated. And I was doing, and I, I don't advise this, but there were times where I'd be up till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning working. I don't advise that because it can cause issues and you can have problems in both your work and your freelance business. So make sure you're getting enough sleep while you're kind of going through this process. Now, then 5.30 to 9 or 8, I'll have personal time where I'll have time with my family, chillax, maybe read a book. And then from 9 to 11, you can work on the business again. And then by 11, you know, I'm getting in sleep. So if you follow this process, which essentially doesn't have a ton of work, you're getting about seven, seven and a half hours of sleep. You're looking at 60 hours per month that you can allocate towards your business. Now you can change this up, right? If you don't have a ton of, ton of responsibilities and you have a little bit more downtime, you can increase that daily workload to maybe 70, 80 hours per month in addition to your nine to five. Um, for me, now that I'm married, I have a kid, it's, it's you know, I, I need to make sure I'm more regimented with my process. But again, depending on your schedule and depending on the time that you have, you can allocate even more time 
to what needs to get done for your agency. All right, y'all, thank you again for checking out the video content. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me how you're launching your web agency, and I will see y'all next week. Peace.